Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to find duplicate records by using group by and hamming clause in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look. Here I have a DBO customer table with a columns ID, first name, last name, country short name, and sale amount. Now I have inserted some sample data in this table. You see that we have ID 1. First name Raza, last name M, and country PK, and then I have a sale amount. Same type of record I have right here on the ID 7, first name Raza, the last name M, and the country PK, and then I have a null value in that. Now, there are some other records that kind of duplicate in a way. See here, this James Smith belonged to Canada and this James Smith belong to US. Now my goal is to find the duplicate records from this table. There could be different situations. So first of all, let's go ahead and create this table and take a look on our, sorry, shouldn't have selected that part. So I'm going to delete and here are our records. Now the question can be very different when it comes to finding the duplicate records. People might want to know the duplicate records only by first name or there could be possibility. They will say, oh, okay, find me duplicate records by first name and last name together. So if you just take a look on the first name, you have Raza here. So we have Raza here and Raza here. So this is the duplicate record. Also James is a duplicate record. But when people change the question, they say, oh, find me a record uh, which is duplicate by first name and last name. Then you have Raza M here. Then you have Raza M here. So that's to uh, make a duplicate. But here you have, uh, let's say, uh, James Smith, that's also duplicate uh, by first name and last name. But there could be last thing people will be asking, I would like to know if um, the record is duplicate, duplicate by first name, last name and country short name. So here you see that Raza MPK, that's uh, uh, one uh, first record here. And then we have another record here. So that make a duplicate, but this, this record will not be part of that uh, um, criteria because the country is null here. Now, again, James Smith is a duplicate by first name and last name. But when you include the country, this is not duplicate record. So again, uh, depend upon your criteria, how the people are going to ask you questions so you can change your query. So first of all, let me find uh, the duplicate records by name, uh, first name, sorry. So if we would like to say uh, first name, F name, and then we will say counts asterisk. So this will give us a record count. And then you are going to do group by, group by F name. So we can go ahead and take a look here first before implementing our having clause. So now you see that we have first name at least only one time occurrence, James two times and Raza three times, as I have shown you guys in the table as well. So let's say customer. If we run these both queries together, we are going to see those values. So you see here, James. So James happened a couple times. Raza happened three times. So here, and you see the Raza here, and two times here, that make it three. And that's how it is. Now, this query is very simple, uh, and it can, there are seven, eight records here. But in case when you have millions of records, and you would like to see only the duplicate records, you need to filter those results. So here we found out, okay, we have five records from, I can literally see that and I can say, oh, there are two records, James and Raza, they are duplicates and rest of them are single records. So, but if you have a lot of records, you need to use Hamming clause to filter those results. So Hamming count asterisk greater than one. So if I do this one, now I will get only the records of which are duplicate because by using having count asterisk greater than one, I'm ignoring any record which only occurs one time. So I'm interested in duplicates. So this is going to return me the duplicates. Now the same thing, remember I was telling if they will say, no, I would like to see my duplicate records by first name and last name, then you, what you have to do, you have to add the last name here, L name, and uh, group by L name, 
simply that's all you even uh, you can kind of avoid here if you don't want to display in the uh, list uh, of select that's fine your choice uh, but uh, you have to have in the group by so now if I will go ahead here and you see that we have uh, Raza and uh, uh, James uh, and uh, the only thing we can't we can't really um, see the last name that that kind of make it difficult that's one one reason that I would like to have in the uh, list so we can see the exact values so you see that we have Raza M that happened three times you can also select the, all the records and see Raza M here Raza M here that make it three times and you can see right here and James Smith only happened two times now if you would like to consider the country short name as well so let me put the country short name in the select list and also we have to include that in the group again I'm telling you you don't need these columns here if you don't want to display that's fine so whatever you want to display here uh, that's absolutely okay but they need to be in the group by so that's how you are gonna consider them as a part of group by and the count will be uh, uh, eliminating uh, uh, this having clause will be eliminating depending upon your group by criteria now in this uh, as we, we did group by for first name last name and country name so you're gonna see right here so Raza MPK and Raza MPK so there are only two records so remember right now you are seeing Raza M three times because we did we are not considering country short name and uh, James Smith uh, if you consider before uh, you, uh, you had the two um, records for that because we were considering first name and last name now as the country change for this one so this is also not going to be in our output uh, if we run this query so let's run this one we should see only one record so it is Raza M from PK and it happened two times in our records so that's how you will find the duplicate records I will make another video how to delete duplicate records by using a uh, group by and having or uh, I will um, include also different scenarios where you want to leave one uh, uh, copy of those duplicate records let's say in this case Raza is happening twice so I would li like to leave one record and delete the other one so we will uh, cover those scenarios in the delete uh, records portion of this tutorial thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in next video